Guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody is doing well. Gosh, December already. It's going to be Christmas before you know it. Um, so yeah, this is probably going to be my last pickups. Um, albeit I've got um, I've got a secret Santa um, that we've kind of done a bit of a whip round in one of the groups. So I'll probably do that in um, at Christmas, Christmas Eve, something like that. But yeah, for now, so um, I I'll just... <laughs> I'll, show, I'll show you what I've bought and, and I'll talk a little bit about what I've been getting up to as well. So um, it is Sunday today. Met um, Clint, Pedder, Phil, um, Mark, James, who else do we see? Uh, Kev, Brett, Andy, um, loads of people. Uh, and me and my lad went as well to Arcade Club yesterday. Um, and one of the things that I have got off... Um, Pedder. You might remember a few weeks ago I bought a box of junk that <laughs> no, no normal person would buy. Um, but my plan was to essentially swap little bits out for stuff I wanted. Um, and in that, um, in that box um, there were various bits and pieces that various people wanted. And one of them was Pedder. And I had... Um, I'd already bought off him um, the um, Sparkster collection for PS4, I think it was. And he had um, a, another spare um, of the soundtrack on vinyl. So, um, so yeah, I, I didn't pay a penny. <laughs> um, yeah, just swap, swapped it for some of that stuff. So with, that bo the, with the rest of that stuff, I ended up pulling out about... Um, about 30 items, 40 items maybe, that I really wanted, that were really cool. And um, and the rest, I swapped with people. Um, and what was left over, I then part exchanged to put towards, you know, the new Spectrum thing. Um, I've got that <laughs> for my Christmas present off my missus. So, um, so yeah, I, I, I then knocked, I forget how much it was, maybe like... 23 25 pounds something like that off that with what was remaining and the whole box was only 30 quid so yeah i did i did pretty good i got i don't know i would i don't know a value out of everything i swapped but i did did very well out of it so yeah we got that vinyl off pedder and he also gave me um this for a super nintendo um i don't know what it's called uh but basically you put a PAL cartridge in one of these and a Japanese cartridge in the other and it'll let you run your Japanese games on a on a normal PAL um, Super Nintendo. So I dug the Super Nintendo um, out of the loft and yeah I mean I've got to find the wires for it. I think the wires might be in storage <laughs> so that'll be fun trying to dig them out. I might just be really lazy and buy some just buy some um but yeah i want to play some super nintendo games at christmas so yeah now i can now i can get some japanese games as well so thanks for those two things uh Pedda, mate. that's awesome um right okay so i also i'm just going to move this here i'll talk you through i also went um at the beginning maybe the middle of november to go and see only fools and horses the musical uh, and it was in Manchester. I went with a mate that I hadn't seen. I hadn't seen him for about two, maybe two and a half years or something daft. But we're both really big fans. So yeah, I got like, um, it was at the Manchester Opera House. I think that's the official um, programme. And that's the tour programme maybe. So I got both. Um, I won't I won't tell you, I won't spoil anything about um, Only Fools. Um, and Horses the Musical for you, just in case you've got tickets. But they are touring next year. There's another one up in Blackpool. I think they're Leeds, all over the place. Um, I have not laughed so much in a very long time. I was, laugh I, I was laughing so much I was crying. I'd literally, my face was wet, just gushing with tears. Um, just really good fun. And you've got Paul Whitehouse in it as well, who's a good laugh. He wrote it, so co-wrote it, I think. Um, oh, <laughs> that's the door creaking, I promise. <laughs> but yeah, um, really enjoyed it. I, w I won't tell you any more. Um, if you're expecting, if you're going and expecting it to be 
like the original, then, you know, it's not. Uh, but what it is, is just a very good um, laugh with uh, a lot of like-minded people, fans like myself. So, yeah, so with that done, I then finally bit the bullet on getting all of the magazines for uh, my DVD set. So, for those that don't know, you've got, basically, I'll, I'll try and, so you get all of these magazines. I'll show you a good one. Um, <laughs> expressions. So, yeah, you get, you got these back in the day with, um, every two weeks with a DVD on it. And they were just delivered to your news agents. I'm sure you know the sort of thing. It's quite popular back then. And um, I've got all, had all of the DVDs, but I didn't have the magazines. And these were on eBay and nobody bid. So I got these for um, about 12 quid. It was a charity had put them on. And I just bid like the last hour to go. I thought if I win, I win. And yeah, I got them for 12 quid. So yeah, I've got, I've got every single one. I'll just show you. That was the one I was going to show you. Such a classic episode, the Batman and Robin one. So yeah, I don't know if, maybe if you're an Only Fools fan, you might not be. And if it's not for you, then fair enough. You know, I, I absolutely love Only Fools. And I'm making my way through. Um, I did start watching them when I got bought the DVDs. I started finding them in um, charity shops in lockdown. And um, I finished off the collection about a year ago, something like that. And I started watching them, but I stopped. So I've just started again, and I'm on to DVD number 22 now. So I've only got about seven to go or something. So yeah, I got that, and it came with the limited edition. It's a bit battered and tatty, but I'm more than happy with it. So yeah, I got the um, the little holder as well. Oh, that's a good episode, that one where he goes hand gliding. I've just been watching them all, and because they're all uncut... Um, there are a few naughties in there and that, and swear words, and doesn't bother me, but yeah, with the, with all the episodes being uncut, they're a bit longer, which is quite nice. Like, some of the episodes had up to, like, 12, 13, 15 minutes cut out, some of them, um, just because the BBC's licensing rules, and or there might have been music playing if there was a nightclub scene, um, stuff like that, just... So yeah, they got really cut, cut back quite a lot by the BBC. So these are on on the um, on DVD off the the Only Fools magazine um, are basically the most um, unedited versions. Anyway, right on to the games. So um, a couple of um, Switch titles. So I got um, Fay Farm, and it's actually my wife got this, but I thought I'd just show it just quick. Um, she's but the only reason. Um, the only reason I think she, I've not seen her um, as much, um, <laughs> making enough scarce, is because she's playing this game so much. And um, I, I've kind of over her shoulder seen it, and it does look a lot of fun. So, um, so yeah, that's what the missus got. And I, I also got on Black Friday, I got everybody one two switch, um, and I got this from Curry's for seven quid. Uh, and I just thought it'd be a good laugh at Christmas, basically. Uh, we do play quite a lot of the Switch games with the family, like Mario Kart is a favourite. And um, there's a Mario Party one with the, the rowing, you've got to row. And um, that's a good laugh. So yeah, I thought, this would be, um, I thought this would be good. I thought this would be a lot of fun. Okay, so there's going to be a bit of all sorts in here. Um, oh, I forgot about that. My missus also found, just dropped it on the floor, um, Just Dance 2021, sealed in a charity shop. I think she paid four quid for it. So yeah, sealed Switch games in charity shops. Bonkers. Um, okay, so, just going back to the Only Fool stuff. I forgot this was in there. So I bought um, from Music Magpie, uh, Rock and Chips, which is the Only Falls prequel. It's got James Buckley in there. Um, this must be this must be 15 years old itself, I would think. 12, 15 years, something like that. Um, and yeah, it was a prequel. So uh, I watched it when it was on at the time. I've, I've not watched it since, so I'll give that a go. And then I also got um, The Green Green Grass. Um, not quite as good as Only Falls. I, I, I 
don't think I watched every episode. So I bought that and um, the other two as well. I think there might be a season four actually. So I'll have to look out for that, I think. So yeah, I got so I got those as well, just so I've got like basically every only full spin-off as well. So um so yeah, I look forward to watching some of them at Christmas probably. Uh but uh, but uh, yeah, okay, so um with the junk uh, boxes, um, my buddy Stu, uh, Generation Pixel, um, had this, and I spotted it as he was going through his stuff. And um, the Hulk game did come out on the Master System, and this is like a little flyer. I don't know if it would have been maybe in shops, maybe, at the time. But I thought that would be quite nice to go in with my copy. Um, so yeah, I got that Hulk flyer there off um, Stu. Thank you so much, buddy. And he also sent me an N64, um, like a flyer. And I was just, because I'm a nosy bugger, I don't know loads about Nintendo, but um, that was it. It's, it's got N64, I think, on that side. And I do quite like some of the Game Boy stuff. And I just wanted to have a look, <laughs> if I'm honest. So I'd never seen one. Or if I have, I've forgotten. So, yeah, so I got that as well. So thanks ever so much for those two, um, Stu, mate. I really appreciate it. OK, so I'm just going to try and whiz through the modern stuff fairly quickly. Um, so we've got um, Helldivers 2. Um, this was actually a present from the wife. Again, cheap on Black Friday. My lad's been playing it on his laptop. I think there's cross-play elements. And he wanted to play with me. So I'm going to give that a go. And um, I got Empire of the Ants. Which is an early Christmas present off my mum. Um, this has got limited edition. Is it lithograms? Is that what you say? And it's got a, a steel book as well. I've not opened it yet. But I will be doing. Um, I'm just playing my way through the original Metal Gear Solid at the moment. I did stream it on sometime earlier in the week. I think um on my twitch channel um and yeah quite a few people turned up so thank you very much um if you did uh, also got untitled goose game just got it from a um where did i get this i got it from i think it's a cash generators or cash converters in um darwin so i was out there seeing Stu, met him for a bit of breakfast and um yeah picked that one up for about seven quid uh, been looking after, looking for a copy for a little while, just for the youngest to play. Um, I picked up a Xbox version of Blasphemous 2. Gosh, that, that is shiny. Um, and I'm not really, I don't really play Xbox, but I've got Blasphemous 2 on all of the other formats. Um, and I've got a sealed copy of Blasphemous 1 on Xbox. So I wanted Blasphemous 2 as well. So again, got that Black Friday. Uh, I also got Lords of the Fallen, um, 12 quid, I think it was, giving it away almost, uh, Black Friday. I think it's very similar to like the Dark Souls games that I enjoy, so looking forward to giving that a go. Yeah, only 12 quid, so why not? Okay, um, I think, okie dokie, so yeah, one more. I picked up, finally picked up a copy of Arms on Switch as well. Just off eBay. Um, I had some PayPal money that was just sat there doing nothing. So I got this. I got it for about 15 quid, something like that. And I've been after looking for a copy for uh, of Arms um, for a little while. Again, just another party type game where you can, you basically box each other. So yeah, the kids were showing me what for. Uh, but yeah, nice one to have in the collection. Okay, so... Um, we're on to some of the retro stuff now, and I have added to the Japanese um, Master System collection. So we've got um, Megami Rescue, uh, which was the expensive one that I got in the last batch. Um, it is a Japanese exclusive, uh, quite crazy, quite uh, quite crazy box art. Um, yeah, I, I yeah, it looks decent. I think um, the box art actually. Um, there's a little bit on gameplay there at the back that you can probably just about make out. 
looks like it's one to play with the paddle controller so um i'll have to hunt mine out um but yeah um, another one ticked off the list and then i also got where is it there we go um i also got pit pot <laughs> rhymes with something else um in really nice nick actually so um it looks almost uh almost new and the, the little flappage let's see there really nice condition you've got the original um sleeve for the card there and then a nice manual here they're hidden at the back which i'm sure you're well aware of but yeah so um pit pot and uh, megami rescue um off the mark three um to do to do list um i can't remember how many i've got left it's hovering around 20 or so left or something um there are some big ones left to get like bubble bobble is quite tricky to find um but yeah I'm, pl I'm glad i got that um megami rescue out of the way that um was proving quite elusive and then the last two games really um i spotted this come up um on again a japanese auction and it's borderline um this is probably now the oldest Sega game that I have in the collection. I think. It's a really early one. Very early doors on the SG-1000 or SC-3000, if you will. Um, and yeah, it's like a, a bit like a, a shmup. Um, it's got various different part mechanics to the game and certain levels do different things. Um, but yeah, um, the artwork looks... I think I really like it. Really, really like it. And um, it's got a really nice crisp manual as well. Uh, even though this is the Japanese version, you know, it is tells you what it is in English up there. And yeah, that that was what you got in. That was your manual back then in 19. I, I'm thinking it was actually maybe an 84 release. But was it 83? might tell me on here it says 1983 so yeah I, th I thought it was an 83 release so this is probably um the oldest sega game in the collection now show you that art one more time love it absolutely love it um so i got that and then i've been after this next one um for a long long time so my buddy Andy um, makes his um, uh, cartridge modifications um, to do his own releases of games. And he had done his own copy of this one. Um, but I really wanted the um, the Sega original. So I've been looking and looking and it goes for, it can go for big money. Um, and again, I, I love the artwork, but it is Space Invaders on um the the sg 1000 again and that is what it looks like and it's not in mint condition or anything i'm not bothered about that um it's good enough for me <laughs> um it's definitely going to get played and yeah i'm just thrilled to have this one too and i think this one had the manual as well he says there it is it's got a little tear on it there. I'm not fussed about that. So, uh, and again, it's not quite as old as uh, Borderline, um, but it is an older one. And there's the cartridge there. Bit rattly. Um, I think these, that yeah, they don't, <laughs> they don't, um, sometimes they do rattle. And I think that's just the way they were sort of made to, just they weren't really built to last really um so yeah it rattles a little bit but i'm not bothered about that so yeah space invaders and i think that's everything so guys thank you ever so much for watching really appreciate it if you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up all the best if i don't talk to you before have an awesome awesome christmas cheers guys